So you're going to start by either tracing something circular that you found in your house, like a lid or something else approximately four to six inches wide, or you can use a compass. And if you don't know how to use it, you just stick the pointy end in the center and it traces the circle for you. I have this one set to four inches. And you're going to want to make 10 or more of these. So you can also mix some of your sizes and make other folds um, for some of you that want to push this a bit further. And I will be showing you picture examples of that, but it's not in the video. So uh, I discovered that if you do a four inch diameter circle for triangles, you can do squares with six inch diameter circles. So next, you're just going to want to color. Um, there are some guidelines for uh, different levels. Um, level one, I want you to use a whole bunch of color and um, just try to make a balanced, colorful, good looking sculpture for um, intermediate. Um, I'd like you to use one color um, and get very, very creative with your line work and patterning and different things like that. Um, you can look at previous artists and try to do some things. Um, of course, here it kind of looks like a Pierre Mond Mondrian painting. Um, so just get creative with it. Use lots of color, patterning, repetition, try to work some textures in there. As you can see, it can be fairly simple. Um, you can get pretty intricate with it, depending on the time uh, that you want to put into it. But just get creative and use lots and lots of color for those uh, that are using color. Um, you can see here that it's it can be fairly simple um, and it can still be interesting. So um, this is some examples of a little bit of Zentangle. Um, it's just a lot of line work and you can, I've used black to make it simple, but you can also use color if you'd like. Um, you can use black to do some line work and then get into some color uh, to fill in some of those things. And I apologize that some of this got a little bit off the screen, but you get what I'm getting at for these. Um, this one's just sort of a little basket weave. It does look better um, if you use some sort of pencil or something to shade a little bit more. Um, some fish scales. Again, it doesn't have to be super complicated. Um, just make it interesting. Um, and our goal is to just have a beautiful, um, sculpture at the end of this and again I apologize that some of this is off the screen a little bit so you can also do things just like a checkerboard but maybe make your lines a little bit different so if you don't have a ruler um, and a protractor there is a way that you can find the center of a circle without doing anything but folding your uh, paper. So you're gonna fold it in quarters and then you're gonna match up, try to match up those lines. Um, so you get one side in the center and one side over there. You're gonna put a dot on the edge of that line where you folded it. And then you're gonna just mark the intersections of where those, the edges of the circle meet. Um, and if you draw lines between those three points, you have an equilateral triangle at that point, and that's where you're going to fold your paper. So if you don't have any tools like the protractor that I'm using right there, um, this is a very, very simple way to do that. And then you're just going to fold it right there. Um, the other way is you can measure out 120 degrees from the center of your circle. Those angles are going to be 120 degrees, which means the corners of the triangles are going to be 60 degrees, and you can get your equilateral triangles that way. So just a 
quick demo on how to do that, then you're going to cut out your circles and fold your lines. So what I did is I made a blank one of these and then used that as a template to just quickly find the edges of or the corners of my triangles on the rest of my colored circles. So putting it together, I found it easiest to uh, play with the shapes that you want. Again, this is a 10 uh, sided sculpture, but you can use more, you can experiment. Um, and the easiest way I found to do that is to grab some paper clips um, or even some staples if you don't mind poking some holes in your sculpture and putting it together sort of temporarily before you glue it glue it all together at the end. Um, so I got a shape that I liked put together and then I took the paper clips off and flattened it out and then glued all my edges together. And then you have a really awesome sculpture. So stick glue works well. You can use double-sided tape. Um, you can use staples, whatever you have around to just affix these things together. And then you have a sculpture. So if you want to keep it going, um, make a whole bunch of these, make a bunch of different shapes, turn it into a mobile, um, just go nuts with it. But thanks for watching.